hello guys thank you very much for purchasing this app in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your Firebase database so if you downloaded the app you will get the source code and documentation so you can follow along with the documentation for all the basic things like changing the app icon uh, changing the package name and everything is included in, in the documentation and uh, you'll get also this video in which uh, you can change your database set up your database so uh, right now it's this app is hosted on our database you would want to change that and uh, before publishing your app to Google Play Store okay first thing you'll do is open up this uh, source code in Android Studio I assume you have already downloaded Android Studio Java SDK and followed the documentation this video is only for setting up Firebase database and web portal so uh, let's just open up Android Studio click on open existing Android app and browse through the directory the, this is the source code so you will click on the source code and click open it should be same for Windows I'm using Mac right now it first time if you load it it will take some time so um, sit back and relax and let it open up it might need to download some Gradle files and everything just click next and allow it to take its time okay after the Android Studio finishes loading the app you will see a screen like this okay now we need to find the old database file which is google services.json this is the file which links your Android app to the Firebase database so we need to find that you click on this panel and browse to project if you can find it you can click this project button here so browse under app you will find this file so here is google services.json you need to delete it mm, yeah delete so for some reason if you can find it here you can browse to the your downloaded source code file click on the app and here it is now you need to delete this file okay move to trash okay now you need to connect your uh, app to firebase under tools there is firebase option given so click on the firebase option and uh, click on real-time database save and retrieve data so here it is the option connect to firebase because we've deleted the file now it's going to give us the option to connect it again connect to firebase it will op open up uh, your google account to log in okay you need to log into your uh, google account Mm, Firebase database is uh, a part of Google so you need to log in with your Google account okay okay just allow it okay once you see that it's connected you can see your name here that means your your profile picture and name and email address everything if you click on that that means you have logged in successfully now you need to connect to the firebase okay there you go you get to this uh, dialog box it says cre create new uh, firebase project uh, okay that's we want a new Firebase project because we've deleted our old everything so it will create new JSON file 
here and also this will connect it and uh, starting project creation uh, you will see a project here so if you go to console.firebase.com console.firebase.com or just search console firebase okay click on this uh, go to firebase console and uh, you will see this screen so after you refresh this screen and after you've connected your firebase database okay i'm getting connection error failed mm, close your android studio and open up again so this is the top uh, option here you give is uh, your recent file so click it again it will uh, you know clean build the project you can go to also do this but uh, i find it easier if i close the project android studio and open it up again it will be able to detect that there is no json file and uh, just do the same process again okay it's refreshing firebase state so it will check if the app is connected to firebase or not because we have deleted the json file so if you get that error then you need to just close the project source code and or studio and open it up again and uh, click connect to firebase and it should now create the json file new json file and also the, you, you should see the project as well here so it will take its time just let it finish the loading i might pause this video okay now you can see that it has uh, connected our app to firebase and uh, if we refle refresh our console firebase uh, we should see we have the app here okay great now there are some changes we need to do here uh, first we need to create the username why we need the username so if you go to the project folder and uh, here we have this web portal unzip this web portal and in order to upload videos we, uh, we need uh, to have a, an email and a password in authentication okay we need to first uh, enable the sign-in method we want the email password sign-in click OK save and then go to users create a user here I'm going to create a user and give it a password okay now we have added the user we need to go to the database we need to set up the database as well we need to set up the storage for database we need to change it to um, we don't want f uh, cloud fire firestore we want the real-time database okay here is the real time click on real time uh, start in lock mode I would say enable it now we're going to ch change some rules you need to set the read to true so everyone who's using the app can see the videos uh, and write so only you can write you should set the right to authenticated users only authentication is it not none so these are the two changes you need to make for data real-time database rules click on publish and uh, you need to also make these changes in the storage it will say allow read which is good write if uh, request auth is not null okay so everything is good here 
read is true and only those who are logged in can make changes so uh, that's it for the changes okay now we need to go to the project settings and uh, here we need to uh, set up the portal in the portal you need to open the index with your editor you need to open it up with your notepad file or uh, any uh, text editor you have on your Mac what we need to do is we need to update this these uh, rules in these uh, API key database URL project ID straight bucket and everything so if you clicked add an app here in your console you need to click this one so this is for your web app you need to copy all these files from here config to this semicolon just copy them and okay paste okay I've replaced the file here save it now you should be able to log in and uh, upload a video so let's just close it and uh, open up our index.html with a browser so here uh, you created a username here in the console so you should use that username and password my username and password was ggclack click on login it should log in okay that means we have successfully configured uh, our uh, web portal okay but not yet we need to upload a file as well video file so give it a name any name you want um, I'm giving it test ABC so that will be title of our video you can select the category from here and uh, upload any video you have so I have some videos here for test so once you click on the video it will start uploading once it's uploaded you need to submit it so it's 100% loaded so once you submit this video will be stored in the Firebase console so if you go back to console storage you can see the video here okay here is the video uh, you I, you should not rename this video because uh, that uh, might cause some problem but you can delete it also here is some data about the video name and everything so you will get the video name number of likes views and category here you should not change th these th things so leave it as it is okay after you successfully connected your app to firebase and uh, you've successfully set up your web portal you need to run the uh, app on your mobile device so the new a apk you will see the changes and uh, thank you for watching this video that's it uh, bye